this event has been um, so much fun to, to be a part of and to see the young athletes. And, and when you're watching them there on the rink, uh, you remember what it was like uh, to be that age. I mean, we didn't have quite this experience uh, when we were, uh, you know, in, in, their, in their shoes. But I guess you remember what it was like to, to be trying for, out for the national team or going to your first evaluation camp or going to your first big tournament or, or a Canada Games, you know, different events um, that had more excitement than anything you'd done before. Through the eyes of a retired elite athlete like Jennifer Botterill, being in Innsbruck, watching the young athletes at the Youth Olympic Games brings back memories of days gone by when accomplishments were still to come. There's an innocence to, to the games here uh, and the athletes competing because it's also new and it's fresh and uh, and it's, it's a step for them, um, you know, for their ultimate dreams. And uh, it's great to see they're so proud, they're so excited to take it in. Botterill realized her hockey dreams. It reads like a shopping list of aspirations for any athlete. Three gold medals, five world championship gold medals, over 160 games with Canada's national team. I definitely think though it's the whole experience and I've always tried to articulate that to say you know what um, for us those moments you know you remember the medal ceremony say in Vancouver or Trino or Salt Lake you're you remember those moments but I think it's so special because of what it represents and it's it's that obviously it's that game it's the intensity of the competition but that's just a symbol of what we did to get there and that whole experience so um, I feel like I've got friends for life uh, from, from those Olympic years in terms of the, the time um, the weeks the months the years of training that you'd put into it and the experiences that you'd go through um, I think that, that those are the most valuable you know when you watch young athletes like the ones we've seen here at the Youth Olympic Games you see a certain level of innocence in their approach to everything something that you don't often see in older more experienced athletes but Jennifer believes that in order in order to be successful, an athlete has to find a way to retain just a, a little bit of that youthful exuberance. I mean, I hope that some, some athletes have the ability to maintain some of it. Um, and perhaps they're not always as innocent um, as athletes years down the road once they get all the experience. Um, but I, you know what, I actually believe that the ones that play the best maintain a little bit of that innocence or that a little bit of... of um, I guess of that appreciation and playfulness. Playfulness, absolutely, and that's why I talk about the the game uh, at the recent Olympics in Vancouver that we played in the gold medal game, and probably the biggest game of our lives in terms of playing in your own country and in terms of the the expectations. Um, but at the same time, I think we turned that around and said, you know what, it's great. People are supporting us, and when I talk about that game, I remember how much fun the girls had. Advice for young players from a three-time Olympic gold medalist? You know, I think there'd be two parts to it. Um, I think uh, the one part would be to make sure they believed in themselves, that there's going to be tough times, there's going to be challenges. Um, I think the path of an athlete is always going to have some ups and downs. Uh, so I, I would certainly encourage the young athletes to believe in themselves, that it's going to take a lot of hard work, but to have that belief is really important. Um, I would also uh, encourage them to enjoy it and uh, that it is intense. Uh, the competition can sometimes be uh, a lot and, and very demanding, but at the same time, it's like I was just mentioning, that it's the whole experience, and for them to enjoy that process, um, then I think the outcomes will take care of themselves as they enjoy it.